Hello Aries, I'm Susie from The Gift to O2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 26th of July. I'm just going to ask the universe and angels what they'd like Aries to know this week of the 26th of July. Aries, 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 Aries. Universe, angels, spirit guides, what would you like Aries to know for this week of the 25th? 25th of July for Aries, 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 I'm talking for July for Aries, 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 for the week of the 25th of July for Aries, 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 week of the 25th of July for Aries, 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 week of the 25th of July for Aries, please, angels, spirit guides, universe, for the angels, Aries, for the angels, yeah, because Aries are angels, that's why. Angels, spirit guides, universe, two more cards, please, for Aries. One more card, please, for Aries. For the, 20, the week of the 26th of July for Aries, what is the outcome for Aries this week? Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords with the Temperance. very cold to the warmth of relationship it's like you're saying it how it is um this is she's got a silver tongue this queen there's cold mountains behind her and she's like nah <laughs> she's just sort of she, she's got truth she's got focus and when you get that clarity it kind of puts everything into perspective so maybe Aries, you've, you've got this truth of the matter and it's like, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait maybe till September. There's something manifesting in the ether with these two of cups. Um, it's a patience card. I don't think you mind being patient either because you've had this truth or this, you're quite cold. You're holding on to your foundation, you're holding very tightly to your coin, you're guarding your heart. Um, you may hear a message this week from this page. This is a younger energy, thinks they know it all. A little bit of gossip. Um, but I feel, Aries, that you're going to stay in your high priestess mode. And she wore the vocal cords. She sings. Uh, she sees things from every, every level. She, she's the angel of this, this deck. And she can go from hell to heaven and be amongst all kinds of people. So you're staying in this intuitive mode. It's kind of like you, because this, it's cut this coldness, this clarity, and this truth. It's like you already know what's going on. You don't need people coming at you with the gossip or spying on you it's like you already know who's spying you know who's gossiping it's like it's, it's you don't even want to be on the platform or fight for that platform anymore it's like you're leaving these people to fight for it for themselves it's it's kind of i feel it's a it's patient you're just holding on to your energy you're holding on to your four walls you're, but keep hold of your money this week. The money might be tight, but it's okay because you know something's manifesting. It's like this patience, this clarity, this this truth, and this instinct. It, it kind of you're walking away from this fight or these people that want something. Um, there might be a burden in love. Okay, this, you, you feel quite burdened by creativity and passion. Um, it's kind of, he's gone to an island and he can't get off the island. It's like, what do I do now? So he's thinking, he just feels heavy laden with, with things that, you know, it's gone from the eight to the 10. Um, you're walking away from a situation that's burdening you. And you're able to heal from an ending, from a heartfelt love uh, toward a promotion where which people are going to see you and revere and want to give you money. It's only three steps up, um, but you're going to take it. Whatever this is, it's a job or a team you're going to join or this new um, up level. 
after you've you're because you're healing this looks like a good option and you're just going to jump into it you're going to get a message of something new and you're going to be like i can't really do it. i don't know how to do it but i need to jump into something new now i've got this extra money or this this up level of promotion so you're just going to go because you've got a passionate um it's like you've got this passionate instinct to just do something at the end of this week and it's like if what's there's a there's a saying I'm really rubbish and I can hear it in my brain it's like leave them to squabble amongst themselves there's a, there is a saying with oh crap um but you're being very patient you, you, it's, it's just like really and I think you're better off just going with the there could be something in your dreams that comes up like you're going to walk away from something that's a burden if someone's not giving you enough i mean you you you, you can heal from this very quickly because it's sort of it could be that you heal from something in love and then you get in the same day you get offered a promotion at work and you'll you, you'll be like that's just what i needed to get out of this situation um so Let's ask the romance angels what they'd like Aries to know about this week. There is something in love manifesting. It's just be patient with it. It's it's kind of... It has to be the right temperature. The temperance. She's got her toe in the water. And the ether, you have to allow the rainbow goddess to bring you this um, true love. Angel, spirit guides. What would you like? Okay. <laughs> We've got very soon... Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Let's see these. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And wedding. This situation involves marriage. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Worth waiting for. Um, divine timing is at work in your love life. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. See? And you deserve love. So there's this whole thing this week of, I can see here, there's something coming, but there's a few things that need to be sorted out, burdens, and it's kind of like, you need to decide what you want and walk away from what you don't want. And it's this getting this little bit of money in and, um, and jumping into a new creative with this page of wants, young energy, but it's like a new start of a new business, something like that, but with a team. Um, even though other people are causing you to be burdened. So angels, spirit guides, Aries for the week of the 26th of July. Week of 26th of July for Aries. This is exactly what's happening. Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. And it's like you deserve love, trust. It's worth waiting for. It's almost like it's like hanging there because it feels like you're cold out on your own. People are spying. People are gossiping because you're a high priestess. It's like I've seen that, done that. I know what's happening. And um, it, it's like... You don't even want to fight for this platform anymore because you know it's not worth it. Yes, it's a little bit of a burden in love, but you're going to heal. This situation is healing. This situation is like this ending is healing toward an up level of a promotion or you'll, you'll know what it is at the end of the week because you'll just want to jump, go, 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 go. You'll be given this money or you'll be given some kind of idea. Angel spirit guides. So you've got to remember who you are, you know, because Aries isn't the Queen of Swords, is she? Queen of Swords is an, is an air sign. Aries is fire, passion. Uh, da, da, da. It's uncomfortable to, uh, to be in your mind and have to, like, see the truth of situation and then have this watery sort of, I think temperance is Sagittarius, though. This, this, this passion is coming in, in in September or sooner. Angel, spirit guide. There's something manifesting, something cooking, something cooking, that's what I can hear. Angel spirit guides, what would you like to know? There is to know. Healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. It's like you're getting match fit for this, this, um, this love because <laughs> it involves marriage. 
Moon cycles, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalise upon these cycles. Yeah, so it's like get rid of things under the full moon. We've had and manifest things under this, under the next new moon. I think we might be actually in between moons. I mean, it's one of those. Clear everything out. Clear, ugh, crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. A life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change and heal anything that is unbalanced. Yeah, this is you taking this inventory this week. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. This is your instinct. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. And to help this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So, you know, this truth of this situation is like time out, time. I'm, I don't want to do that. You know, this has made you guard your heart, whatever it is, because someone might have said something, spied on you. Um, there's this high priestess that, that, you know, you've got all this angelic help. They, 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 you've got backup and you know it. It's, you can't even verbalise that to these people or, or whoever's around you. It's just, let's, let's just leave it out. <laughs> Have compassion, have love this week, Aries. And it's going to, you know, you're going to get your passion back for something at the end of the week. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.